Welcome back. This is Therese Adams with the Community College of Denver, and we're continuing with getting prepared to be able to prove trig identities. So on this one, on this first example, what we're going to do is rewrite over the same common denominator. So our lowest common denominator, or LCD, for this particular set of fractions will be the cosine of x times the sine of x. So I'm going to come over here. I need to multiply this fraction by the sine of x over the sine of x. And this fraction needs to multiply by the cosine of x over the cosine of x. Now when I distribute this through, on the left hand side I'm going to get the sine squared of x plus the sine of x cosine of x. And that's over the cosine of x sine x. Plus, I'm going to distribute this right-hand side through, so I'm going to get the cosine squared of x minus the sine of x cosine x all over the sine of x cosine of x. And then this will equal, putting all over the same common denominator, the sine squared of x, I'm just going to rewrite, plus the cosine squared of x. And then what will happen when I put this over each other, this one and this one will cancel each other because one's a plus and one's a minus. All over the sine of x, cosine of x. And we know the numerator happens to be a Pythagorean identity. This equals 1. So it's going to be 1 over the sine x, cosine x. And I can write this instead of 1 over the sine x cosine x, I can write this as 1 over the sine x times 1 over the cosine x, which we know becomes the cosecant of x, the secant of x. Why don't you guys give B a try? So, we came up with B, I hope, is 2 times the cosecant squared of gamma. Let's take a look at our next one. It's asking us to multiply and simplify. So I don't have to do anything with the, new, with the denominator. It's just the numerator. I'm going to multiply the numerator through. I'm going to distribute through. As I take a look at this, this is actually a perfect square trinomial. So this times this, because they are the same thing, will produce a perfect square trinomial. Or I can distribute it out, and I'm going to get the sine squared of y plus 2, the sine of y, cosine y, plus cosine squared of y minus 1, all over the sine of y, cosine of y, but I know, as I'm looking at this, that the sine squared of y and the cosine squared of y, if I add those two together, it becomes 1. So what I have is I have 1 plus 2, the sine of y, cosine of y minus 1, over the sine of y, cosine of y. But this one and this one cancel out, so I'm just left with 2 the sine of y, cosine of y, over the sine of y, cosine of y. But this sine cancels with this one, and this cosine cancels with this one, so I'm just left with 2. Now, if you guys could do B, I'll give you the answer to that one. This also equals 2.